once upon a time in the heart of the ancient African forest, where the trees whispered wisdom and the rivers sang lullabies, there existed a mythical being known as Mother of the Earth. She was the essence of life, a guardian of the land, and the protector of all things that breathed and blossomed. Her body was covered in moss and flowers, her skin blending with the earth itself, and in her arms she cradled the future, an infant born of nature's love. The forest knew her as Nayusi Maji, meaning the black water, for just like water she flowed through the veins of the land, nurturing and sustaining life. As she held the child the elders would say, the womb that carries the future is as deep as the roots of a baobab tree. Her child, destined to inherit the wisdom of the ages, lay still, dreaming of a world yet to be born. One day, the spirits of the land came to her and asked, Nyusimaji, why do you care for the child while the world around us crumbles under the weight of man? She smiled, her face blooming with the beauty of a thousand flowers and whispered, In the child's breath I hear the heartbeat of the future. A tree grows not for itself, but for the shade it gives. The spirits, in awe, listened as she spoke of a time when the land was in harmony with its people, when the soil was sacred, and the rivers were honored. In the soul of every child, she said, there is the wisdom of our ancestors. And just as the leopard knows the way of the forest, so too does every child know the way of the earth. As the child stirred in her arms, she sang a lullaby made of the wind's whisper and the earth's hum. The elders had always said, a mother's song is stronger than any storm, for it carries the stories of generations. And indeed, her song traveled far and wide, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of every creature that called the forest home. Ubuntu, she softly murmured, her voice as gentle as the breeze. I am because we are. The infant cooed in response, sensing the interconnectedness of all things. The trees, the animals, and even the stones under her feet seemed to pulse with life as if acknowledging the profound truth of her words. As she stood tall her child nestled close to her heart, the sun began to set, painting the sky in hues of red and gold. The sun sets not in sorrow, she whispered, but to rise again in glory. And so, as the moon took its place in the sky, Nusi Maji and her child became one with the land once more, a symbol of hope for a future where humanity would walk gently on the earth. In the quiet of the night the child opened its eyes and smiled as if to say, From the earth I came and to the earth I shall return, but in my time, I will blossom as the desert rose after the rain. And so, the legend of the mother of the earth lived on, a reminder that no matter the turmoil, a river never forgets its source.